Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome back to this episode of Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion, and today I'm sharing a very special video with you. Normally at this time of the year, we do something that's called Christmas in July in the craft industry. And I thought I would take it one step further and do 12 months of bottle projects just to give you some inspiration of things that you can create all year long. These are great crafts if you set up at craft fairs or holiday bazaars. So I'm hoping that these ideas will jumpstart your ideas. So let's just dive right in. So we've got 12 months going on. All of this is going to be napkin decoupage. And you can see here, I've got a selection of holiday and seasonal themed napkins that I'm going to be using to create everything from New Year's Eve bottles all the way down to Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we're gonna start with our fun summer sunflower design, a very simple design. You can do this on a recycled water or wine bottle and it's very easy to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how you do your napkin decoupage onto the bottle. Then I'm gonna walk you through all of the different ones and share with you different tips for using uh, Mod Podge Mega Glitter. I almost called it Folk Art Glitter. We are using Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. We're gonna be using Mod Podge and Sparkle. And I'm gonna show you some different top coatings and different ways to paint your bottles to fill out your design. So to get started, I have gone ahead and cleaned my bottle and got all my labels off of it. And I have painted it with the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. And that just works as a really great solid primer on the bottle. And you can see in our finished design here, we've got that sunflower napkin on there. The sunflower napkin design is so great for your summer months. And I've got bottle lights in here, so you can turn those on. And I don't know if you can see them too well in this lighting here, but they look amazing at night. So our first step is that we're gonna separate our napkin. We're gonna separate the printed ply from the white part. And we're only using the top printed ply. And the white part you can just discard. I use these as little cleanup rags all the time. So here we go, we've got our napkin down. And I'm going to turn my napkin printed side up because I'm gonna do a little spraying of water. And when I do that, I like to have the nap can be the printed side up so that when I'm applying it, I can see my pattern. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and coat our bottle with our Mod Podge formula. Now for this project, you could use matte, you could use satin, or you could use gloss. It's really just a personal preference. Gloss is gonna give you a shiny look. Matte is gonna give you a flat look, and satin is going to give you a look in between. Satin's one of my favorites, so let's just go ahead and use satin today. So for this, we're going to go ahead and apply our satin Mod Podge directly onto our bottle. And you don't need too much. In fact, I think less is more, and it's best to do smooth, thin brush strokes up and down. And on this design, I'm using a smaller napkin so it's not going all the way up my neck. But I do know because I've worked with my sample, I'm gonna add a little bit of Mod Podge up there. And we're gonna be doing a whole napkin design on this one. I'm also gonna show you today how you can just do some napkin cutouts. Okay, so we got the first part down. I have not gone all the way around the bottle, but we will be going all the way around. Okay, so there's our bottle. And like I said, I was gonna mist our napkin here with a little bit of water, just like so. That's gonna help with wrinkles. And then we'll just go ahead and pick that up and we're gonna lay it right on top of our bottle. Just like that. Now this is a slow and steady project, so go gentle. You can pick it up, you've got a little leeway get it into position. And then as you work with it, kind of pull, and we're gonna start in the center and just gently press down, very, very gently. You can kind of tap. Some of your napkins will be thicker and you'll have very good luck and they won't tear. Some of them will be very thin. I find some of the napkins from the dollar store are very cute, but they're very thin. 
So you just wanna be very gentle. That's why I say this is, you don't need to rush this. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Now what I like to do is just flip it over and our napkin is still wet. I'm gonna pull it back a tiny bit and let's go ahead and add more of our Mod Podge. This is the satin formula. Again, just a thin coating, you don't need too much. But we're gonna go ahead and finish out the whole backside. And we will start to wrap our napkin around gently. And if you do get a little tear, you can always go in with a dot of two of paint to cover it up. Or you can just napkin decoupage a little tiny piece of the same napkin over the torn spot. And honestly, it all just kind of blends away. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and fill up that seam there. And to do that, I'm gonna add just a little bit extra right over that edge. And we'll fold that over. Just like that. Smooth out any wrinkles up here. There's always gonna be a seam across the back unless you do cut out each individual piece. Okay, we're looking pretty good there for our base. We'll just go in. We're gonna add Mod Podge to the bottom. I'm working upside down, so I hope I'm getting that good. <laughs> Usually I, I actually look at the project, but for filming, I'm gonna be a little bit upside down. And you just kind of fold those over. Now, if I were selling these or giving these as gifts, I would probably put a little felt circle on the bottom. That's a great place to put your logo if you're selling them. You could put a little paper cutout down there with your company information. Okay, there we go. We got that top all down. Now, normally I would set this aside upside down like this and let that bottom dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we do that neck really quick. So forgive me if I'm skipping ahead on that step of drying. Go ahead and pull that out. And we're just going to add our Mod Podge up the neck. And it's gonna be impossible to not get a few wrinkles here. So you gotta give yourself that space to know that those wrinkles are happening because you're going from a large space to a narrow space. So I just kind of grab it with my fingers and press down just like so. And you can add a little bit more Mod Podge if you need to. Just kind of press it down. And you want to get that smooth up there. We are going to glue some twine there. You could glue ribbon. There we go. All right, now we're gonna set that aside and let it dry. And once it's dry, you can top coat it and you can decorate it. I'm gonna show you top coating on our Valentine one that is dry. So let's go ahead and get this moved out of the way for drying. And let's take a look at the finished one. This one is all finished. And to finish it off, I just used twine on the neck there. You could hang a tag, you could add floral decorations, it's endless. I'm using these battery operated cork lights just to turn it into a fun like bottle lamp. So really endless ideas, guys. Okay, let's talk about top coating. So here is another design. This one I did with a heart napkin. So I did the heart napkin and then I did painting all the way around just to color the whole jar. This is a really cute, if you're doing a little Valentine's gift, you wanna stuff this with some love notes or a year's worth of you know, love messages or fill it with candy. You know, Very cute, easy way to redo a jar. Now for top coating, it's very simple. And again, depending upon the finish you want, use gloss if you want it shiny, matte if you want it matte. If you want something in between, use the satin. And it's very simple. So you'll just go right over. On this design, I painted it first, and then I'm doing the top coating because I want the finish to be the same on the outside. So you just go right over your design. I like to use even brush strokes, and I like to go in one direction. That way you get those brush strokes really fill out, kind of like a flood, and then it will look a lot flatter and neater when dry. Now it looks really milky and wet right now, but it's going to dry perfectly clear and with a little bit of shine. So that's how you seal and how you top coat 
over your napkin decoupage. Super easy to do. And now we have a really cute Valentine's jar. All right, let's move on down our seasons. What shall we do next? Let's talk about glitter. Let's go ahead and start with our happy new year. So for this one, I went ahead and put the napkin on the front of the bottle. And I went in and I added a little gold, treasure gold paint to the outside. And I want to add our Mod Podge Mega Glitter in gold. And this is going to create a super sparkly look. So I'll just show you a little example. Again, all of these things are ideas. I just want you guys to get some inspiration on how you can do these. Look at that thick, thick, thick formula. Lots of glitter in there. So you just go in, we're gonna add that. And again, it looks milky. It's gonna dry super sparkly and clear. Just all you're gonna see is all that chunky gold glitter in there. Now the mega glitter is cool because it's got lots of different sizes of glitter. And if you look closely, you can see in there, there's little glitter and then there's big chunky glitter. So you can just apply this. I like to base coat with gold first. That way you get the most amount of sparkle. So you can just apply this all over the bottle and that creates a really fun look. And when it's dry, it's gonna be super sparkly. All right, let's move on to another season. Okay, next up, let's talk about that gold paint. A little 4th of July, a little lucky leprechaun jar here. And we've got some of our treasure gold. So let's go ahead and just pour a tiny bit of this out. And you can paint over your napkins. So for this, I'm just using a tiny bit because a little goes a very long way with treasure gold. I'm gonna use a little sponge brush and I've gone ahead and already painted the backside and the edge. And once this is finished drying with paint, I'm gonna glue a little bit of this trim on there too. You can really, it just, you can just do these however you want. There's so many different ways. You can see where my napkin was there. So let's go ahead and just do some sponge painting right over that, just to create a little bit of gold for our leprechaun jar. So just because the napkin is green, and I'm gonna show you how you can coordinate colors, you can also add metallics any way you want. And once that's dry, like I said, we can glue a little bit of this trim. You could add a bow with some gold coins dangling or little rainbows, anything like that, super fun. All right, let's make an Easter one now. So for this, I'm using this sort of cool, like kind of vintage milk bottle style. And I painted this one first. So I painted it yellow, and instead of doing an all over design like we did with the sunflower napkin, we're going to just do a small motif. So I've cut up my napkin, and we're going to tear out this carrot design, and we're just going to use the carrot design onto the jar. So I wanna show you how you do that. So let's go ahead and grab some satin, and it's super easy. For this, I'm gonna just add it's straight onto the painted jar. Uh oh, I got a little bit of <laughs> gold paint from my finger on there. That's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and lay the motif down. Uh, for the smaller motifs, you don't necessarily need to use um, a spritzer on it. That really works on some of those bigger napkin pieces. But if you wanted to, you could. And then let's go in, give a little bit of a press, get our wrinkles out very gently and you can see how it just blends into the sides. And once it's dry, go ahead and get around that edge, you can see how it looks. You can't even tell where the napkin begins. I mean, it's such a cute, fun, again, you can fill this with jelly beans, create a gift from it, take the lid off, create a centerpiece, add some cut flowers, put some cork lights in it. So all of these bottles can be used for so many different things. All right, we've got our spring showers and rainbows coming in. So for this one, this one, the napkin was blue on the background. So I just wanna go in and add a little dash of blue. I'm gonna show you how you can blend those napkins. So let's squirt out some of our blue paint. And you, I'm gonna use a sponsor again. You really don't need very much paint at all. So for this one, I went ahead and sponced a little bit of white first just to sort of be like a cloudy edge. So then we can go in and we bounce over that with some blue. 
just like so. Kind of fill in that design. And I painted the back of it also. This is so cute if you have um, like just some bottle lights. This is great for a kid's room. Oh my goodness, my chalk paint is, it is not opening. All right, we're gonna have to use our multi-surface paint for right now. So let's go ahead and use this multi-surface. We'll squeeze some of it out. I was gonna show you chalk, but this works good too. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip in and tap off. And now we're just gonna go right back over and fill in and give it sort of a rainbow cloudy look. Just really fun, quick and easy. You can go in and add a little bit of blue over it. And now we've got our fun kind of rainbow cloud design. So cute and easy. Okay, and you know what did all the work? The napkin, we didn't even have to paint that rainbow, so easy. All right, let's move on over. Fourth of July, we're moving down our seasons. For something like this, it's super easy to do. And this is just an example of how you can use these as bases also. For this one with the American flag napkin, then I just added um, silver glitter. And for that, I just painted the whole jar with the Mod Podge sprinkled on the glitter. And there you go. You've got a really quick, easy centerpiece. If you're doing a party and you wanna make a whole bunch of these to match, all you need is one pack of napkins and some recycled bottles. Super easy to do. Now we also have our watermelon look here. This was from a video that I did a few weeks ago where we did all kinds of watermelon crafts. So if you go back in the profile, you can see all the watermelon projects, but look how cute that is. And one thing that I wanted to show you about this is it's that same painting technique. Up here, our napkin was green, but I filled in by painting it green. So if your napkin ends, just do a little color match. Look at the paint colors that you have, mix and blend them together, and then just go in with that sponge brush. I find that it really blends the napkin into the bottle. Now we're heading into football season. So this is a really fun way to make over a jar. And what I wanted to show you about this is that don't think that you just have to do the jar. You can do the lid also. This is a really cute way to wrap up a gift. You could fill it with peanuts and candy and things like that. And of course, add some ribbons for your team, uh, team colors, I guess we should say, right? <laughs> so for us, we're LA Chargers, so I use the blue and gold. You could do team napkins also, any kind of licensed napkins like that you could also use. These make really fun, quick little gifts. Okay, now we're into Halloween. So for Halloween, I found this jar that I just loved. It's got like a cool, you know, shape to it, like an old potion bottle. So I did our spider napkin, and I just wanted to show you quickly how you can layer over it. So for this, I printed this off of the computer, and at the craft store around Halloween, you will see tons of these different little small cutouts in the scrapbooking section. So just go ahead and grab a motif that you like. We're gonna add that Mod Podge to the back pick up and place it right onto our bottle press down just like so and then once that's dry I would hit it with a little top coat just to give it a little sheen you can see I finished it off with a little plastic spider and some of that sparkly ribbon for Thanksgiving, I did wanna show you a really fun, different shape. I don't know if you're familiar with these glass blocks that you can get at the craft store, but they have an outlet hole on the bottom so you can fill them with lights and create uh, light blocks. These are really good to do too. And this is just the thankful napkin. And then I did that matching paint along the edge and of course added a little fun burlap bow. So this is a really easy, fun way to make over one of those blocks. It's all the same technique, just putting that napkin down with the Mod Podge. And moving into our 12th month of the year, we have Christmas. And for this one, I wanted to show you about Mod Podge Sparkle. So Mod Podge Sparkle is different than the Mod Podge Mega Glitter. So Mega Glitter is gonna have thick, chunky glitter, different sizes of glitter, 
you can already see this one starting to dry and how much glitter is in there. Sparkle glitter is much more subtle, but it has beautiful light, almost fairy wing or snow glitter. So I hope that the camera is picking that up and that you can see that. And I like to use a detail brush on this and you can see it's still a thicker formula, but it's definitely not as thick as the mega glitter. And let's take a look. Can you see all those sparkles? Can you see the sparkles? Okay, so you just go in and you're just gonna paint it right on to the bottle. Just like so, super easy. And it's gonna dry clear, but it's gonna dry with all that Aurora Borealis sparkle. And I hope that the camera can pick that up. Because in real life, it's got a ton of sparkle. And again, this is a bottle lamp. So you can see, you can turn that on. These make really fun gifts. They're great sellers at um, craft boutiques and craft bazaars and things like that. So I hope today's 12 months of bottles have inspired you to think what you can do with some of those seasonal napkins that you have around. These are great relaxing crafts to do while you're watching a movie. Kids love working on these too. So really dive in and think about how you can upcycle some of those old bottles with napkins. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back here next Thursday at Facebook and Saturday on YouTube. I always answer questions live during the premieres. So if you ever have questions about Mod Podge or the different formulas, just go ahead and leave them in the chat and I'll be sure to get right back to you. Have a great week and have a great crafty day.